How's it going? Magnum Highway here, and today we're going to be learning Familiar Taste of Poison by Hailstorm. Um, this was requested by 650 Michelle. Check out her channel down below. And yeah, I guess we'll get started right now. Okay guys, so first up, you want to do a power chord on the 7th fret of the A string. Which is an A power chord. And... Then the, you got to remember this pattern because it's repeated throughout the song. You hit E string open, and you go. So you go E, A, D. You know with that shape. So E A D. Then again. Then you go E A. So really slowly you should go E A D again E A D then E A. When you speed it up, and so you do that. Same thing, just go, um, you put your middle finger on fret 8 of the E string. And then the same thing, you strum, you um, pick downwards. So, E string, A, and then D. So nice and slowly. finger goes down on the eighth fret of the of the E string. Strum downwards, then hit the E string on fret eight, and you go to fret seven. So so on the E string, fret eight to fret seven. And then your index finger bars the whole thing. So you can hit 7 on the E string, 7 on the A string, and then um, 9 on the D string. So nice and slowly, this is what you should have. Okay, so the next part, um, it's just as simple. Remember that picking pattern that I told you to remember? The well, we do that exact same thing down here. So it's down. But um, now, instead of doing a power chord, we're kind of doing a G, the top half of a G, move down two strings. So that's middle finger on the third fret of the A string, and index finger on the 2nd fret of the, of the D string and that's leaving the G string open so um, and then you go down 
So A, D, G, again, and then A, E. And you slide that up, one, two frets, and the same thing. So this is what we got. two frets and then we change our position slightly now our index finger is on the D string fret 5 and our middle finger is on the A string fret 7 and then the G string is still open and same thing same pattern So, index finger, fret 5 of the D string, middle finger, well actually ring, ring finger, sorry, on, the, on fret 5 of the A string. Okay, so this is what we got. And then we go way up here. It's the same shape that we had down here, remember? The G shape moved down a fret, but now it's our um, middle finger on the tenth fret and our index finger on the ninth fret. So tenth fret ten on the A string, fret nine on the E string, uh, D string, and then open G. And we this time the picking pattern is different. We go. It's just down and then up one. So, um, A, D, G, D. A, D, G, D. Then that, then that pattern that we had here, move it up two frets, and we go. same thing. Down, and then up one. So really slowly, what we've got so far. That same shape, moved up two frets. D, um, A, D, G, D. So A, D, G, D. Uh, okay, guys, so for this next part, um, this is when the distortion comes in. It can get a little confusing, so um, quick link up here of me playing it. Also down below in the description if you're on a mobile device. And yeah, just you might want to take a look at that if you're a little confused or can't really fit in the chords. So anyway, we'll get onto it right now. Okay, so we start off with an A power chord. Then we go to E. Then to a G power chord on the third fret of the E string. Then back to A. But we cut A a little short this time to add in this extra part, so. And that extra part is a power chord on fret 7, a B power chord, to an A power chord on the fret 5 of the E string. The, all these power chords are on the E string. So 7 to 5 to 3 on the E string, and then open. 7, 5, 3, open. Then back to G. Yeah, so then after that, E, then back to G, then A,
start building into the um, chorus. And then this part, the... That's a B power chord on the second fret of the A string. And you hold that for a little. And then you move up to a C power chord on the third fret of the A string. And then that's the chorus. So, third fret of the A string to fret 5 of the A string, which is a D power chord. So, then to fret 7 of the A string, which is an E power chord. So, fret 3, fret 5, fret 7, then way up here, this is fret 10, um, it's a G power chord, so fret 10 on the A string, fret 5, and then fret 3. So, um, yeah, go through it one more time and then, and then probably, yeah, then that'll be the end of the song. So, third fret to fret five to fret seven, fret ten, fret five. So thanks for watching that video guys, I upload videos weekly so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and put your requests in the comments. Follow me on Twitter, check out some of my other videos, and I guess I'll see you in another video guys.